Hey guys, Kate Kennedy here, and today I have a super fun video for you. This is the new Maggie Holmes collection called Shine, and I got this stuff from Blue Moon Scrapbooking. I'll have a product um, list below, and then also I'll have a blog post that has links to all the products that I got, plus the rest of the collection, and it is an affiliate link, so I just wanted to let y'all know that. With I have an affiliate program with Blue Moon Scrapbooking. They have really great customer service. They ship very quickly. It's free shipping over $50, and they um, have the stuff super fast. Like this line just came out, and they had the whole collection. So I've been ordering them for a really long time, years, and I just always have really great results. So I don't have, like I said, I don't know if I said this or not. I don't have the entire collection. I just have... Um, I have most of it though. There are a few embellishments that I didn't get and some of the papers. So I'm going to start with the 12 by 12 papers and then I'll go into the embellishments. So this first paper is called Cherish. It's a really pretty floral on a kind of oatmeal colored background and the opposite side is a nice um, blue and cream polka dot. And then I have, this is called Bright and this is some three by four in the middle and then three by three on either side. And they're really, really cute. The only problem with this paper is that I love the back side. So, you know, good. I might have to get another one of those. This one is called Memento. Really cute numbers. And I, as with most Maggie Holmes collections, they have a lot of detail in the background. So this one has kind of like a ledger and then a neutral, not neutral, but good background pattern. This is called Radiant. I love a yellow paper. I'm, the Chevron I'm kind of like ready to move on from, but I adore this side. I'm super into these wonky polka dots. I just think they're really cute. This is one of my favorite papers. It is called Sparkle. It has all of the plus signs all over it. And then this kind of marbling pattern that we saw in one of the previous Dear Lizzie collections. I think it was Serendipity. This is called Darling. It's just a really cute floral brush inky kind of look with again detail in the background and then this stripe pattern which I'm not, it's like cotton candy. It has some music notes in the background too. This is called Divine. It's a gradient pink to wood grain but I got it for this side. I love this sweet little teal floral. This is very, also very Dear Lizzie-esque. This one is called Treasures and it's a bunch of frames. Some of them have some words inside of it. I love this side. Just, I love this pattern. I think it's super cute. Um, Twinkle. This is a craft with a cross or plus sign on it. And then this nice pattern. I like this too. This is called Bliss blue dots and then it has a pink one and then some pink splatter in the corner but I got it for this side I really love this yellow to that kind of oatmeal color and then there's some like pink numbers on the side this is called cheer I feel like I've seen this paper in a in a crepe paper collection before I think it was like farmhouse or something it just looks very familiar to me or one of those collections but I got it for this side because who doesn't love a heart pattern especially an ombre one so cute. And then lastly, this paper is called Dazzle. I just really like this. I think it's fun. You can cut it up or you can use it whole. And I also really love this peach color. So I don't know. Then I have the 12 by 12 chipboard. And I always love crepe paper, especially Maggie Holmes chipboard. The one embellishment that I regret not getting were the tassels because you can see there's a chipboard tassel here but the actual tassels also have these little beads on them that were really cute. I don't think they were wood though. I think they were just plastic but this chipboard is gold glittered. I don't think I see any gold foiling. No it's just glittered. I really love these circles here and the plus signs. I like this title. I think that's really cute. Just a lot of really usable pieces. The only, I always like to say the ones that I think I'm going to have a hard time using. On this particular one, for me, this is probably has the least amount of ones that I'm like, mm, about. The typewriter, I'm never sure how to use a typewriter on a layout or anything. And then this little thing in the cup, I'm just not, I'm not sure about that. 
I really like the zebra. Not, I don't really know how I'm going to use him, but all the rest of them I can see easily using. Love the florals. Find what makes you happy. I like the diamond shape. This is one of my favorites. It's in a lot of crepe paper collections. I love that kind of laurel. And I love the horseshoe. My grandfather always used to wear a horseshoe necklace, so that has special meaning to me. Um, of course, the 6x12 stickers, or if you like 12x12 stickers, because you can just open it up like this. These are really, really cute. They have gold foiling on them. I love this pattern here. There's no alphabet on this one. Sometimes these have an alphabet. This one has some little word things here. Um, not sure about this mason jar, but I love that pattern inside of it. Really cute. Again, a typewriter. Wishbone. I like this banner. There's some like luck symbols on here. There's the wishbone, the four leaf clover, the horseshoe. So, and I feel like Maggie Holmes always has a little bit of an equestrian thing to it. So I know there's, a, there's, I think there's a paper that has horses or maybe it's, maybe it was a previous one. I'm not sure, but I love that black heart that says, love you. Very cute. And then I'll just keep going with the kind of six by 12 or 12 by 12. So these are some thickers called beautiful. They are glittered foam thickers. I do see some glitter like shedding in the packaging, but I really like this because it's a mix of titles, like subtitles and embellishments. So you have some cursive words like darling and be true. And then you have some blacked out font, which I love charmed the big shine, and then you have all of these embellishments, these hearts, the horseshoe, the little banners, the plus signs, all the triangles, the stars, the music note, really cool. And then on the back side, the same thing. You have this big ampersand, which I love. Bow, all of these embellishment pieces, the sweet life, together, love, and beautiful. So I think this is a really great value for what you get because there's so many different ways that you can use it and it won't look the same on your layout. So on one layout, you could use it as a title and on another as embellishments. And I think you'll get a lot of, of use out of those thickers. Then there's this font. I believe there was another font too that was green, but it was kind of like a lot of other thickers. This one I thought was different. It's called Detail. There are 120 of them. It's kind of that oatmeal -y color with a black accent. I just love how they kind of look 3D. There is a set or two sets of numbers, some ampersands, question marks, plus signs, commas, and dots. So you get a good mix. There's not a, there's four of the vowels it looks like in three of the consonants. So you don't get too, a whole ton of letters. There are thicker packs with more letters, but you get enough. And then on, or let me see, one more alphabet. So this I thought was really neat. It was a little pricey, but I wanted to try it out. There are 68 chipboard alphabets in here and I'll open it and see how big they are because they look, I mean, they're, I know they're big, but I don't know what they measure. So let me get to my ruler. Let's pull some out so we can see. I just think they'd make a really fun element on a layout. Like you could just do an initial or you could do the front of an album or just all kinds of different things. You could use them for masking. I don't know. I just think they'll be fun. So they're about four inches tall and about an inch and three quarters wide. Well, the D is. I mean, some are going to be wider, of course. But I just think these are really cute. And it looks like you get at least three of the vowels. I mean, there's enough to make, there's, I guess there's 68, so three R's. I just thought they were fun and they're gold foil and you could even punch a hole in them and make them into a banner if you wanted to. I don't know, I think there's lots of things you could do with them. So I got those. They come in a nice box, easy to store. <laughs> And then I got this kind of waterfall pack of glitter stickers and they're 160. So the first page is hearts on two different sizes and then dots and then hearts and stars. So you get double the, well, you just, yeah, you get more hearts, I guess, than anything else. I thought that was fun. 
and then two embellishment packs, a wood veneer pack, and then the ephemera pack. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the wood veneer, and then I will zoom in and show you all of the ephemera in detail, but I'll show you the back of it now in case you don't want to see all the detail. This is what you get. There are 40 pieces, and then the wood veneer, there are 16 pieces. So I will open these up and show them in detail, but if you aren't interested in seeing them in detail, then thanks so much for stopping by. <laughs> okay, so here are the wood veneer pieces. There are these smaller um, plus signs and the outline of the heart and then these little diamond shapes. And then we move a little bit larger and have the bow and the scripty star, which I love, and then the diamond shape. There's this cute little frame with the heart cut out. And then there are three word kind of title or bigger pieces. You have best day ever, and that is about four and a quarter inches tall. You have hello love, that is about two and a half inches tall. And then the dream today. So really fun, nice mix of, of wood veneer, I think. This is probably one of my favorite wood veneer packs I've had in a while and I love the idea of being able to color those. So now I'm going to show you the embellishment pack. I can already tell I think I'm really going to like this. There's only 40 pieces in this ephemera pack which I like because some of them that have like 80 or 100 are just totally overwhelming to me. So right off the bat I noticed these really pretty intricately die cut floral pieces and I think that they're gorgeous. I love these leafy pieces and then these flowers. I think they're going to be really fun to tuck into little clusters and things. Um, there's so also some words, some word, you know, little word phrases to best day, the little butterfly, we have a floral and an old timey phone. There's also some acetate in here, but I'll get to that in a second. Some little tags. I usually have these better organized, but I wasn't on my game today. Just very crepe paper looking, which, you know, is to be expected from a Maggie Holmes collection. I love the colors. Oh, there's another little die cut flower. A little eye chart. I I'm not sure about this. OXO. Should it be XO? X? I don't know. Does it start with an O? Like OX? OX or is it XOXO? Because to me, OX, OX looks like ox, but you know, that could just be me. Lots of tags. I like when there's lots of tags. The little zebra, the little key, not too sure, but my least favorite pieces from Maggie Holmes lines are usually the really vintagey looking ones. I tend to like the more modern looking pieces. There's a paper that has that cute little brush pattern. And then this is like a little trinket box or something that has all these different pieces on it. It's interesting. Okay, so now for the acetate pieces. I really like these. The only problem with these is how to get them onto your layout. What I have found the best thing to use is a Xyron sticker maker, which will just apply a even coat of stickiness to the back so that way it doesn't show through. But you could also use a tiny attacher or something like that. Just depends on where you're trying to put it. So there's another together. And then there's this big love work, which I love. I wanted to show you these. These are really cute. These are little tabs. So they're so cute. Love this and sweet stuff. And what you can do with these is stick them on the edge of your paper or photograph. You can do it that way or you can do it that way. So those are really cute. I like when there's something a little bit different and unexpected in an ephemera pack. So that is everything I have to show you from the new Maggie Holmes Shine collection. Thanks you guys so much for stopping by and I'll see you all real soon. Bye!